Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator Series, where I help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. Today, I want to talk about my Skillshare channel. Uh, in the past, at the end of my videos, I would promote my Skillshare classes, and recently something's happened, something's changed at Skillshare. So I kind of want to go over that if there's any confusion, um, as I've had a couple of comments um, ask me what's uh, going on with my classes. First off, let me just say I've actually really had a good experience with Skillshare over the last couple of years. Um, that was the place that I initially got inspired to make online classes and where I was posting them initially. And over time, I had accumulated over 16 classes that were up at Skillshare at the same time. Now, recently, those 16 classes aren't all online anymore. And you may have noticed I haven't really posted any new classes to Skillshare in quite a while, at least over a year, maybe maybe getting close to two years. And the reason for that is that I was submitting classes and they were getting denied by their screeners. And some of the reasons that they were getting denied for um, didn't make any sense to me. And I would respond and say, you know, your comment of what the problem is isn't an issue in this video. Can you rewatch it? And they would respond and say, no, it's, it's still an issue. And, and I don't want to get into the details, but I got frustrated by that process and basically just quit making new classes for Skillshare. But over time, you know, people were still watching my Skillshare classes that were up there and I was still responding to comments and, and checking out class projects. And I still, still to this day really like the platform. But um, they've made some changes over at Skillshare and I've got some emails recently where they would say if your class doesn't get a certain amount of views, then they were going to take the class down. And so it started out with, you know, a couple of classes that they took down and I kind of understood because the, they were old and, you know, probably didn't look that good. You know, my original classes, um, I've learned a lot about lighting and audio and um, other things that make videos since then. So I could understand taking those down. Um, but recently I had another wave of classes get taken down and, and finally a third wave. So I'm actually down to two classes out of the 16 that I had up over at Skillshare. So I'm not really recommending people going over there anymore to watch my classes and the classes that they've taken down, I'm considering posting them here to YouTube for free. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that. I'll have to repackage them a little bit. Um, so, you know, it'll be a little bit of work for me to do that. But what I really want to do is make some new classes. And I'm probably not going to post those to Skillshare. I'm probably going to just um, post those uh, myself. And, you know, I got to figure out exactly how I want to do classes going forward. But um, my, I have an idea for, I want to do like a big class on how to use Rough Animator. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that course. But in the meantime, um, you know, I still like Skillshare and making those videos uh, was so fun that I actually was kind of motivation for me to start wanting to make this YouTube channel and help other people out uh, in their animation journeys. So that's what's going on with my Skillshare profile. I'll link to it in the description below if you want to go see the remaining classes that are up there. But in the meantime, I'll still be here on YouTube. And um, don't forget to go check out my blog at expatanimator.com. Well, that's going to do it for today. My name's Patrick. Thanks for watching and keep on animating.